Yeah, shooting with magpies. It's tricky. <laughs> Penguin Bloom was something that I wanted to be involved with because I'd been working on a lot of dark drama, like a lot of thrillers and psychological dramas. And I've got kids and I was starting to show my children films that had really affected me when I was a kid uh, and that I'd grown up with and that were still some of my favourite films. And funnily enough, a lot of those films had animals in them. <laughs> I read that baby birds dream of their mother's song. And that's how they learn to sing. No one really knew what to expect when the birds came onto set. You need a lot of patience and I guess uh, an openness to what a bird wants to do and what they are doing as opposed to what we're wanting them to do. But after a while, we really got into the rhythm of it and, and it would usually be the first take. You'd say to, I'd say to Paul, I would really love it if Penguin flew in and landed on this table and then hopped off. And we'd try it in rehearsal and it would happen. And you'd shoot it once and then you'd try and get it a bit better and then you'd fall into this bird hole and try and try and try and get it to do it again, but better. But uh, yeah, I was kind of surprised. They're a little bit like dogs, magpies. You can kind of train them like dogs. Good boy. All right, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, good boy. When you're playing real life people, it's a delicate balance of wanting to know them in a really intense way, but also you have to allow for the story to play out and affect you in a certain way and how it affects the audience. So I was always nervous to meet them. It's a big responsibility because you've got to play that story in, in the most authentic, responsible way. There's great advantages and sometimes disadvantages because you get involved and you feel like you're, you possibly could end up on a road where you're just pleasing them, not the bigger story, which is for a wide audience. So it's a difficult and tricky balance. Hey, thanks for pushing me. And I'm sorry you have to live with this. Are you kidding? I consider myself the luckiest man alive. Oh, shut up. I think it's a love story, and that's the way I sort of view it, but it's also a story of triumph um, and courage. You know, it is obviously the story of somebody that is paralyzed and, and has to find another way to live. And through the wild coming into a home, brings back the wild in, in a family that is an adventurous family and resuscitates the Cam and Sam. Kind of the moment I got out of, the, out of the car in the driveway at the Bloom's house, I knew it was it. I said, we should shoot the film here. There was just something very specific about the design of that house, the fact that it had a flat roof that the kids could play on, that they did play on, and you know, it's featured in the book. That would be very hard to find. I wanted to include that. Shooting in Thailand was really important. You know, if you can, you go to where it happened. There was something, I don't know, there's a, I guess there's a veracity to putting the family through a really, our cast through a really similar experience to what the family would have had in Thailand on that, on that trip. That they were having a really great time, but at the end of it, something terrible happened. I guess the, the big surprise that's happened in the edit is that we always felt that it was a story about Sam Bloom and Penguin, like their, their story and her healing through her showing of generosity. And I really feel now we have a story about a family that's being healed by Penguin and not just a single person. I think that's the heart of the film. <laughs>